So hi everyone, I'm finally bringing you an update of my personal agenda. It's been a while since I've done any of these videos and the reason for that being because I kind of very quickly went through several planners. Um, I mean several Filofax planners were used for my personal agenda at home. I also used um, Happy Planner for a couple of months also as a planner at home. But my planner, the one that I used to carry with me every single day to work, was the denim dotted um, personal sized file effects that hasn't changed in a while, in over a year, I believe. And I absolutely love that planner, but the more I used it, specifically recently, I realized that I didn't have enough pages for kind of like creative stuff or just, you know not just writing what I needed to do. Plus, I was getting tired of rings that were getting in my way when I'm writing and my handwriting is pretty big, so I needed something different. And I was like, okay, let me just give this one a try. And this is Webster's Pages uh, Travel Traveler's Notebook in the color Periwinkle. I got it on sale uh, back in December, I think and it was just lying there and i thought oh i'll just create it as an art journal and won't be using it as a regular agenda but then i started looking into different things at etsy and things changed basically things have escalated to the point that i moved all of my agendas my personal agendas uh, into this notebook and this is the one that i'm carrying with me every single day so i have my camera here and i'm ready to film this however my camera is leaning very precautiously um on the table so i'm afraid it will be you know <sighs> yeah we'll see anyway so um for every single thing that I mentioned, which was not made by me, I'll provide links down below and to you in the description box, but this is my setup for now. So let's have a look. What I liked about Webster's pages per se is that they have pockets. I would have gone for maybe a different type of, uh, a different brand, not a different type of um, notebook, but a different brand but I really like the fact that there are pockets here. So I have just some, you know, um, personal stuff in here, some coupons, and here I have uh, little sticky notes that I got from AliExpress. Uh, these ones are with traveling. Um, I used to have another one, um, I believe with, not London, but something else which I really liked, and this is my second pack. I have, I have several um, I have several clips here and this yellow ones are the ones that I got ages ago from Kate Spade and these two plain ones are from Dellarama. I also have a little uh, card in here uh, which is actually a calendar back from maybe 2015. Oops. I think maybe from 2015, let's see. Now, 2016, and it was actually a part of the box that I got from one of the um, Russian YouTubers that I really like, Kulilai. And um, this card, this ca little calendar, has just the theme of books, and it says Tsundoku, um, buying books and not reading them. So I thought it was appropriate to have it here. Next, I have this pocket, ooh, they're falling out, that I recently got, so there is another side of this pocket, I just put it in between other notebooks, and this is a pouch where I put my stickers, and I get to that in a second, and this one is just for cards, and I made some washi tape samplers because I'm going away on vacation, and I will need this to, you know, plan in my journal, so I made them, um, I ordered the pouch or like rather the insert um, from Etsy. I'll provide it down below. However, it arrived not from Australia like I believed it would, but from China. And it took probably like over a month to get here, which is very disappointing. But nevertheless, I have only three pockets filled in here. And this one are my business cards of my blog. 
that I made myself. I have only two left because I gave every other card to either people that I met at BookCon or to some other people that I met at the book club, etc. So these are the cards for my blog that I made myself. I need to make more, but I don't think I have time for it right now. Next, I have 2017-2018 May um, insert that I purchased from Etsy and I absolutely love it because the quality is really good. Let me show you the monthly spread. It's just monthly and it's very clean. Uh, the paper is white and relatively thick and I just put whatever notes I have in terms of the month goals. I use dots, like simple dots, as you can see, um, to mark. Yes, so this is the 12 month calendar from June 2017 till May 2018. When I was purchasing it, I honestly believed that it would be till December 2018, which made me kind of sad, but it's actually my own fault that I did not read the description properly. And I prefer to have an agenda with a monthly calendar view for more than one year because I tend to make plans quite far ahead, but I'm really excited about this one just because it's such a nice quality. Next I have, after this one, I have it actually clipped to, but I'm going to remove it now just because I have more notebooks, more inserts in this planner than you should have because there are only four elastics. So this is the insert that I actually made myself. And I made it from the, I'll show you the last page, which is not filled, and that's the only page, the last page. So this is a printout that I got from Etsy store. I'm sorry, I just need to show you. So yeah, this was from Etsy, and I purchased it and printed on the 30 pound paper, just white paper, and then I made the cover myself. And it was super easy because I have a lot of uh, cardstock paper. So this is what I made and these are my spreads from the mid-June and till well this week. So these are all the spreads. I kind of keep them um, not too overwhelmingly decorated but I like them and I really liked these inserts. However, this is my probably most favorite spread. However, uh, my problem with it is that I tend to get really tired of too much decoration. And while initially I found this fonts and all of those arrows like super cute, I just, it was a blank. I had to write August and put in the dates into it but I just found it super cute. Now I'm kind of tired of it. So I'm switching to another insert, plus it's out, right? So let me just attach it back to this one. So the next insert that I have, oh, it's actually a bookmark, but I'll show it later. Um, this is the back side of that folder or insert, and it just has my stickers in it. It's a zip pouch, as you can tell, and just I put the usual dot, dots. The dots are from Dellarama, and I use them everywhere, and also some stickers from um, these ones, High Five and Stars, are from Hallmark, and um, some stickers more, and these ones are from AliExpress. So all of these are quite inexpensive stickers, and I like to carry them with me because I didn't do much decoration if I'm um, outside, but just in case. And this is the weekly planner that I got from the same Etsy store as my monthly one. I'll provide the link to it down below. And I absolutely love it because it's done in the same way. It's pretty minimalistic and very clean. I'll show you how the blank one looks like. So it just has uh, Monday to Sunday. It is undated and it's just the perfect layout, just exactly how I wanted it to be. I uh, dated a couple of weeks ahead already and I started decorating just knowing that well I kind of fucked up with numbers here but anyway um, I used some 
washi, some stickers. These stickers I just saw a couple of people use this similar or these images or similar ones um, on Instagram and when I asked them where did you get those they said oh we got it on Pinterest and or somewhere else. So I just googled the images like Victorian type of images and I got them and I downloaded them and I printed them on sticker paper and so I now I have stickers. These are washi sticker from one of the sticker books by Erin Condren because I still have my heart bound Erin Condren and I still have no idea what to use it for. These are just the stickers that I got at Michael's and I did some um, just put more stickers around here. Um, I'm just going to move them around because they're all removable um, once I actually do the planning but for now this is what I have ahead of me. So right now we are at the week of August 14th. Today is actually Tuesday and this is what I have planned for this week but starting next week I'm going to skip it here I'll just go into my new insert and I'm really looking forward to it because that would be the first week of my vacation so moving on this is the insert that actually came with this planner it is blank by Webster pages it has kind of like blank um, whitish yellowish paper and I just cut out a piece of cardstock that I had to put it here in intending to put some sort of note here or a quote or just something. But for now, it's just like this. And I, there's really nothing here that I can show because it just has a lot of personal information. But I just use it for notes, um, just writing down lists, my expenses, also some things that I need to buy or I need to do, for example, uh, really no rhyme or reason. I just kind of flip through it and just make notes and that's about it. Next insert is this one, polka dot one, which I also got for uh, from Indigo when I was buying the planner itself. It's also by Webster Pages and it came in a pack of two or three. And I think three. And this one is a grid. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a pale, pale pinkish grid. I chose this one just like, um, like artsy stuff. Um, this insert I use for kind of dumping in some of my creative ideas and I cannot really show you much here because there is some personal information here as well so I'm just going to cover it. I'm sorry I'm not promoting Michaels it's just the only thing that I had on hand. So this is the card from my friend that I have attached. I used to have it in my old file of facts so I just moved it here. Um, then. I have just some information, like some of my favorite music. I was making uh, different lists of meals, also more personal information about expenses. Then I started reading uh, Girl Code by Kara uh, Leiba, and I decided to write down certain things that inspired me. And some quotes, I did this with uh, watercolors just to inspire myself and this is another quote for that book. So I just mean to keep it for inspiration and just some random stuff. And the last notebook that I have here is actually I think from Recollections. Um, yeah, maybe a Recollection series. I just like the I don't like flamingos per se, that's my mom's favorite bird, but I like the fact that it said dream big and I liked this page in spite of, in spite of like really pinky flowers and it's also very good paper to write on, it's just lists or you know just lined paper so I use it to uh, write down some creative thoughts as well. So cannot really show you because spoilers. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I have this one inserted actually into this pocket because I didn't use it as a pocket. There is also an option to put something here and I used to have another notebook here but I realized that it was just an overkill. Um, so right now I have um, six notebooks here and it's way more than enough plus this plastic insert and there are four um, only for elastics. So this one is attached here and this weekly uh, one is just attached to the cover of the monthly spread by those pins or clips. So 
in terms of my uh, bookmark, here's the story. Almost like within one or two weeks of using this um, this agenda, this elastic started to pop out because the hole was pretty big and it just started to pop up. So what I did is that I inserted this bookmark which ends with the tag which says focus so it prevents the elastic from sliding out and it also attaches the bookmark and the bookmark is from indigo i got it a, over a year ago it says do what they think you cannot do and i thought it was very much into um like in the same color scheme as my journal as well as i definitely need a reminder of something like this in my life so i have it here i don't I use it as a bookmark, but it's pretty heavy, to be honest. Uh, mostly I just tuck it somewhere in between so it doesn't get lost. But otherwise, it's mostly its main function is just to keep elastic from sliding through this hole outside. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have two pens here. Uh, one is, surprisingly enough, is basically the same color is as my agenda. And this is my very old Waterman... Um, ball pen that I've had for at least eight years now. Um, so I use it always, I always carry it with me. And this one is just a regular Sharpie fine liner. I got it, um, I put it in here just because I wanted to kind of like mix and match pens at times. So I put this one in the loop and this one just attach it on the side and they both fit perfectly into my planner. Um, this one also, um, only this one kind of uh, sticks out a bit. Only this last journal sticks out a bit just because it's not um, attached through elastic but it inserted into the pocket. But otherwise, it all fits together quite nicely, as you can see. And I just put the elastic over it and that's about it. So I didn't have any other decorations or anything like it. I did purchase one little um what do you call it like a little charm to put on the elastic here and it has a fox on it but it was so cute that i put it on my bracelet instead <laughs> so i don't have any charms here and i think i don't want any charms just because i feel that they might fall off uh, since i carry this agenda with me every every single day and it's not genuine leather it's full leather and you can definitely feel it when you hold it and it's not really stretchable um but i don't really care if it all goes well and i continue using this agenda and would be really much oh sorry that's that's just a little thing that came with the inserts and i kept it in my journal as well so anyway uh like i was saying if it all continues to be well and I will continue using this planner. I will use it till it just falls apart and then I'll get myself a new one. But I will be definitely looking for a planner, um, not because, like, not depending on what material it's made of. I don't really care if it's leather, like genuine leather or not, but I do care whether it has pockets on the sides or not. But this is my agenda. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know down below. I don't film that many planning or agenda videos but they do get a lot of views so let me know down below any more um, suggestions or advice that you can regarding travelers notebooks because I'm very new to it and I just go by whatever I see on Instagram so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon bye